know what IBD is? No. <laughs> no. Uh, IBD is inflammatory bowel disease, which encompasses problems such as Crohn's. My name is Patrick van Reenen. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist working in the University Medical Center in Groningen in the Netherlands, and I'm the head of the pediatric IBD unit. Inflammatory bowel disease um, has two distinct phenotypes, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Crohn's disease can have inflammation throughout the gastrointestinal tract, and in ulcerative colitis, the inflammation is in the colon. Uh, approximately three million people in Europe suffer from IBD, and 10% of them, 300,000, uh, are below the age of 18. Do you know what calprotectin is? No. No. No, I've got no idea what calprotectin is. So the patient will always come with symptoms, uh, and if there is a combination of suggestive symptoms and an increased fecal calprotectin, then uh, the probability is high for IBD. We follow up patients by monitoring uh, fecal calprotectin and symptoms. And in patients who are on anti-TNF treatment, we also do uh, trough levels. The first scenario is the patient with active disease, um, with high levels of calprotectin. And these patients are on remission induction therapy. We measure the calprotectin once every month. Uh, in the second scenario, the patient uh, is in remission. The levels of fecal calprotectin are low. And in that situation, we measure calprotectin levels once every three months. Do you know about the usefulness of calprotectin for children suffering from IBD? No. No, I do not. No, I've got no idea about that, but um, I'd like to learn more. If you want to use uh, fecal calprotectin in pediatric uh, practice, I have a few recommendations. The first one is to try to collect a morning stool after a night's sleep. The second recommendation is to store a stool sample uh, in the refrigerator until analysis. And the third, and in my opinion, the most important recommendation, if you want to follow a treat to target strategy, always use the same assay.